Linkin Park, no not this one. This new Linkin Park dropped a new song called Heavy is the Crown, which also got featured on League of Legends World 2024 Anthem. Now we do not tolerate any League of Legends slander here, got it? <laughs> I said no slander allowed! Hi, my name's Duffy and we're back with another Modern Mail series. Before we start, they announced that they will perform in Paris with Sleep Token, then heading to Dallas with Bad Omens, Gene Dawson, and Hellman. This is going to be one of the greatest shows for people or Modern Mail heads who enjoy Sleep Token and Bad Omens, and older alternative music fans who enjoy Hellman. I'm on the old school style of things, but nonetheless, I'm happy for their fame, and I'm happy for them that they are seen everywhere in today's Mail community. I'm fine with Sleep Token until the day I hear this song. Especially this part. Did I mistake you for a sign from God? Being played in my daughter's room. If you know, you know. Sadly, due to copyright, I can't play the whole thing, so I'm gonna put my favorite parts in here. Not gonna lie, it feels like I'm a teacher judging a student's essay. What the heck? <laughs> The intro aka the DJ sample reminds me of Fane and now I'm getting flashbacks to what all my days. Slow build up from a sample to guitar then sims is actually pretty nice. Probably because I'm a fan of slow build ups in songs. Feeling so cold, holding inside and hope it won't show him saying it's not, but inside I know. Not gonna lie, Mike slayed at his rapping part, especially this part. Know how the story ends, you can't win if your white flags out when the war begins. Aim so high, but swing I'm starting to understand why Mike chose Emily as the vocalist, because her voice is kinda raspy and higher. Look, this is the moment where we separate the music from the artist for a moment. I do kind of like how her voice sounds a bit like Chester in this song. I gotta admit, I don't like the emptiness machine. However, I'm feeling alright with this song and her vocals. There's no turning back this path once it's begun. You're already on that list, so you don't want what Oh, let's rewind back a bit. You're already on that list. I'm gonna need some musicians or DVT to see if they animate the right chords or notes. This is what you asked for. Heavy is the crowd. Fire in the sun. Look, I'm not glazing here, but why do I feel like Emily's voice sounds better? <laughs> Am I tripping? Again, I do notice the emptiness machine sounds higher than Heavy is the Crown, so I guess my ears are feeling alright with this one. Let you cut me out! people comparing her scream with Chester's given up scream. So let's do it as well. So I'm gonna do Chester's given up scream first, so let's start. Okay, so it's 17 seconds. And now let's do Emily's heaviest the crown scream. So let's go. So it's 15.32 seconds. Even though it's only two seconds apart, I still think it's pretty impressive. This part is one of my favorites because the way they animated him and his clothes is just... I love the animation so much. Also, you can see each stroke of the brushes. I am fancying on whatever this art style is called. I hate to say it, but I could give this song a score that's higher than 7 from my new metal self. Yeah. Because one, the music range is lower than the last song, so Emily's vocals carried it well. Second, the animation just... <sighs> especially the fight scene. And Linkin Park scene where the cold shadow pair of the dim lights from the candles are just chef kiss. So let me just fan go over the animation for a bit, okay? Overall, the song gives off some old Linkin Park vibe, especially Faint, from the DJ samples in the intro. <laughs> 
Mike's rapping parts. Already on that list. So you don't want what you can't resist. Waving that sword when the pen won't miss. But adding some modernness like this part, for example. Day you notice. Cause I'm tired of explaining what the joke is. So yeah, I'm feeling alright with this song. Another confession is that I've never listened to bad omens. I've only seen them on metal news and magazine covers, but I rarely paid attention to them. So I'm going to give this band a try and see how I feel about them. Again, copyright, now let's go. I'm not afraid of the war you've come to wait. Okay, so we're starting off with clean singing. It's slow build up for listeners. And we do not tolerate any hate for clean singing in here. <laughs> Wait! It's giving 2000s electronic vibes. Like if asking Alessandria Attack attack Or enter Shikari Performed in modern years The lyrics and vocal progression sounds kinda emo to me. Like, da, 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 da. I don't know, it just sounds emo to me. I don't know. The pain that you hide behind the smile. I feel like I could recommend this to my emo friends and emo stuff as well, so they could jam to this while teasing their hair and smudging eyeliner. <laughs> Hannibal reference! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, uh, I'm a fan of all. I don't know why, but this part gives off 2010s vibe. Like, I can't explain it to you, but it just sounds like something that's from the 2010s. The ending part where they're trying to save him, or her, her I think, yeah, yeah, got me so infested. I was like... And it ends with him being back on his seat. I do feel like there's a meaning or a concept behind this MV. My guess is that he's on the chair programming something so he could relive in the past. And we see him and his girlfriend being all lovely. Then arguments started happening. Until one day, a burglar came in and shot her in the throat. Which I guess triggered his emotion and caused the system to malfunction. Bars. Hence why she started acting like a supernatural. Cause system error which caused her to tweet. However, I do need more understanding on the ending part where they're saving someone. So if you're a bad omen fan, comment down below so I could know more about the lore. Overall, it gives off electronic core vibes but with a modern twist. Slightly less usage of electronic elements compared to older bands that I mentioned before. But more 2010s music elements or vibes being put into. And I low key do like how emo or addicting the chorus part sounds. So yeah, they might be the new era of electronic core. What do you think? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment down your thoughts on Linkin Park and League of Legends new collaboration song and Bad Omen. Are you a fan of it or are you gonna stick back to some underground scenes? I can wait for you at the bottom. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>